guys and welcome back once more to Happy Freak Friends. I'm Chris X and today we're playing Conan Exiles for a special video for uh, a castle that I will I've been building so long. Uh, in the mean uh, in the middle of this build, I thought that I I should just give up because I I couldn't just adjust all the things and the game wouldn't let me to fix some I, I don't know to to to, pl to place this enormous building here but i decided to finish it i don't know of course there are some things that i will uh, add in the future but let me start from the beginning so yeah i chose this place here this island for a very specific reason to build my castle because it has this lake in the middle so this lake was transformed into a, an infinity swimming pool so yeah i know that it sounds weird but let's see it okay the the entrance is nothing special in my opinion i just thought to make it as simple as i could with two guards oh yeah those are part of the aquilonian uh pack which i i just bought a few days ago and yeah let's get inside this fantastic palace enormous palace First things we see is the few columns. Of course, inside these columns, I have okay. The, yeah, okay. I will explain. I will explain. All right. So let's uh, begin with this part. Of course, I'm going to show you the palace also with uh, the flying uh, admin command, so you can have a better idea. This here is my personal room, and yeah, here is my bed, and I've got a dancer right here there she is and also my throne yeah all these are with the uh, admin command so obviously I cheated a lot in order to build this palace so let's get outside from this uh, place from this door to reveal you my favorite part of the building which is my pool i'm really proud of this pool because uh, this area just gave me the idea okay this is just the box where i was storing my things when i was uh, uh when i was building this place so this is my pool we're gonna go there next first i'd like to show you just this room which is just the vault and <laughs> some lions, they're not, those are not real. The vault of the palace. Yeah, it's really exposed, I know. It took me so much time to make all this ceiling up there. As you see, it's in different levels also. I cannot even imagine how I made this all alone. Uh, I had many days of headache. So this is the pool of the palace and I put many dancers around the pool I don't know why I just thought that it would be nice and yeah it's a, a pool that I can use since uh, it has some depth not too much but yeah the pool is amazing of course I had to make all these columns because otherwise the ceiling won't would not be stable and would uh, collapse which uh, really made me doubt about finishing this work uh, it has many details the palace has many details all right the first large area of the the build is here I got workers in every position except for the saddler's work table. Okay, forgot him. The workers everywhere. The wheel of pain. Some lions here. Of course, we're gonna go once more in the pool. I don't know about you, what your thoughts are about the pool, but I'm really excited about the, the pool. Let's hit the gong. Nobody pays attention. Yeah, I've got a little bit of everything here. Stove, brewery, 
those preservation boxes, well, refrigerators, furnaces, blacksmith bench, carpenter's bench, a little bit of everything. And of course the balcony, because everybody deserves a little bit of luxury. This is the first balcony, there's another one upstairs. And there's one more over there. I could just go as uh, entrance, I mean access from here. There you are. And with this beautiful view, it's like Babylonian style. And I don't know, it's, it's a simple place. Just uh, thought to make it as simple as possible because I really put too much effort in building the, the build. It was really hard. And let's go upstairs for the room, the celebration room, as I call it. This is the room where our tribe will celebrate uh, their victories. Table here. Actually, three tables. It's over there. Yeah, this room is nice. I put also the, um, <laughs> the dragon. The red dragon and on the opposite side is the green dragon. Some statues here, some statues. That, that looks like Homer actually. And of course all those uh, trophies. Look at this. Those are too small and the others are enormous. And they haven't encountered this opponent. I mean this is the... Um, uh, I don't remember the races king of those creatures that they appear from the in the desert. They can't come out of the gr out of the ground, and some bears and uh, antler king. I haven't encountered that either. And some more balconies right over here, with a view of um, I, I don't even know how the area is called, but yeah. And some greenery, just to make it more interesting and more colorful. And let's go once more. Yeah, actually, the 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 areas where I decorate, which I decorated, there are not too many. I mean, I, I gave more attention to build this thing, and in the detail of this swimming pool. I even put some leopards here. Jaguars, sorry, not leopards. Actually, there are no leopards in this game. Uh, my mistake. And of course, all these dancers that they are level 4 dancers. Not all of them? Okay, whatever. Yeah, not all of them. I'm sorry. But yeah, this is uh, my, my build. I, I mean, this is my uh, most difficult build until now in this game. I like the way that uh, the um, crafting system works in this game. Of course, sometimes when you make so high buildings, uh, you need those pillars and when it is really high, it becomes annoying. So I guess that I will try to make something more in the future because as I mentioned, I like the uh, crafting system in the game, uh, except for that uh, it doesn't have windows. I mean, those cannot be considered windows, right? Uh, but um, I believe that I will try, maybe. I'm not sure. I don't promise anything. I, I would like to. Uh, to make the palace from Skyrim in the White Run. I th if I remember correctly, it is called uh, Dragon Watch or something. So let me put some uh, admin commands so I can fly and show you the territory from above. And I chose to make this video during the daytime. I will show you also how it looks in the nighttime. So this build gave me so much trouble when I uh, I was making the ceiling, and also every time I load the game, something is destroyed, like these parts. I don't know why. I mean, they're not stable. Uh, the game doesn't uh, accept how I place them. But all these are being destroyed every time I, I close the game, I turn off my PS4. But that's fine. I mean, yeah, look at this. Look at this, it's a, 
uh, six level building. It's enormous. I wouldn't do something like that again. I will try to make the next one as uh, simple as I can. Well, this is good. This is nice. Don't tell me that you don't like it. I'm sure that you like it. This looks professional. Lo oh, sorry. <laughs> sorry about that. That was a mistake I didn't do it intentionally. And yeah, this is my palace. I haven't given a name to this palace. Feel free to let me know. Oh, I, th this as well. Uh, this was built. Prof. Yeah, I don't know what happened. It was properly built, but now it, it isn't. I don't even know how many uh, units I've used in order to make this build. I mean, how many admin commands, how many t items. I, I really don't know. I really don't, don't want to know. Because I wasted uh, so many hours for my life to make this build. Just for YouTube purposes. So I hope that uh, you like it. I've done it to share it with you. And, uh, in my opinion, I succeeded to make uh, um, a small success here, because this is my first build, except for my base, of course. This is my first build that I try in this game, and uh, I'm really satisfied if you... Uh, of course, those exceptions here, if you will just um, forget those small difficulties. I'm pretty satisfied. So, I'm gonna show you how this build looks uh, during the night time. Uh, so I'll see you there. So as I promised, I came back here during the night time because I would like to show you how the palace is illuminated. And I believe it's very satisfyingly illuminated. Okay, outside is nothing special. Or okay, it's not night time exactly, but anyways. Uh, I like those braziers from the Aquilonian part. Is uh, They are very beautiful. And generally, this uh, Aquilonian part gives this ancient Greek or Roman style uh, that I adore so obviously that was the reason I bought initially this pack so yeah the the palace even during the night time is pretty illuminated uh, I think I can walk from here yep much better so yeah my room well okay it's nothing special but yeah it gives the taste of um, an enormous luxury room uh, the palace generally is very well illuminated with those of so those um, torches, Aquilonian style, of course. I've put them everywhere, and also I've put um, those um, chandeliers up there. Of course, the the game doesn't provide you with any uh, quality chandeliers that illuminate too much, and also <laughs> this thing, which is impossible. I don't know where how to build one of those. Is a radium gem standing torch. Uh, I, I don't know really where to find one of these. But this is really w fully illuminated. And finally, except for the swimming pool, of course, where I'm going downstairs. Upstairs is this place, which is just, just perfect. So many lamps everywhere even during the night time, it's impossible to miss something. I like also those statuettes. I don't know, there's... Yeah. It gives this taste of... Oh, jeez. Uh, it gives this taste of medieval here. I really like it. But anyways, I believe that... Uh, yeah, consider me. Uh, I believe that it's time to leave this video here. From uh, the pool area, which is my favorite. And yeah, so if you liked the video guys, please leave a like, uh, I would really appreciate it because this is all my work and nobody helped me, so yeah, it would be really appreciative. And uh, please comment below if you'd like to see more things of this game, more builds or more of the story, bosses, I don't know, whatever, uh, I would love to make them. So as always, I was Chris X, and I'll see you all next. Goodbye.